Hey everybody, Joe from Home Crush here. When I decided to make a small talking head studio in my basement, I knew audio was going to be a challenge. While attempting to mitigate one of those challenges, I found a hack that at least partially deals with one of the others. So I thought I'd share because who doesn't like a two for one, right? So arguably, the two most important factors in capturing good audio are to one, increase the signal to noise ratio, and two, to decrease unwanted reflections. Now those are two big broad categories and typically you deal with them separately both before recording, during recording, and in post. But I found one plugin that to a certain degree deals with them both at once. Remember that just like video, the more you can do to improve your situation before you hit the record button, the better. But in my situation and many other, there's only so much you can do. So what's this magic plugin? It's Adobe Audition's D-Reverb effect. In addition to doing what it's supposed to do, remove reverb, it offers modest noise reduction. The effect is mild. I don't even know if it's intentional, but it is there and the plugin is in the noise reduction menu, so there's a chance it is. In my room, with my voice, with my equipment, it offers about 10 decibels of noise reduction. Now remember, when you remove reverb, you're lowering the overall volume. When I bring the levels back up though, I found that I still had about five decibels of noise reduction, which is, isn't a lot, but it's something. But remember, those five decibels are coming along for free with the reverb reduction, so I'm killing two birds with one stone. That allows me to use a lighter touch with other noise reduction techniques, and that lessens the chance of those nasty digital warbling artifacts you can get from heavy-handed noise reduction. So how does it work, or why does this plugin reduce noise? I can't say for sure, but I'm guessing the process of removing reverb targets off-axis sounds. And noise is typically all over and not just in front of the microphone. So it gets reduced. The only real downside to this hack is you have to use Audition. I think there's a Premiere plugin that does the same thing, but I'd rather poke my eye with a stick than use Premiere again, so you're gonna have to test for yourself whether it offers the noise reduction benefit. I tried a few third-party Dverb plugins like Xenaptics Unveil and Crumple Pop's Echo Remover, and while they can both do a decent job reducing reverb, neither of them has the same noise reduction side effect that Adobe Audition's effect has. So there you go, reduce reverb and noise in one step. I hope this little tip helps somebody. If it did, or you're just feeling magnanimous, consider liking this video or subscribing. Now go out and crush it.